Yes, yes, Mr. Turkentine. I shall need an assistant. Come and give me a hand. <laughs> we have here nitric acid, glycerine, and a special mixture of my own. Together, it's horrible, dangerous stuff blows you up. Uh. But mixed together in the right way, as only I know how, what do you think it makes? I don't know, sir. Of course you don't know. You don't know because only I know. If you knew and I didn't know, then you'd be teaching me instead of me teaching you. And for a student to teach his teacher, it's presumptuous and rude. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Oh. Yeah. Now, mixed together in the right way, these three highly dangerous ingredients make the finest Walt remover in the world. The trick is to pour them in in equal amounts. Now, Charlie, you take the nitric acid and the glycerine, and I'll take my own special mixture. Are you ready? Good lad, pour. <laughs> no, certainly not. This is for very big warts. Well, what's yes. going on out there? I hope there's still some left. Here, wait for them. Come here. What's happening? Willy Wonka's opening his factory. He's going to let people in. You sure? It's on the radio, and he's giving truckloads of chocolate away. Class dismissed. No, no, it's only for five people. Class undismissed. He said five golden tickets, and the people who find them will win the big prize. Where's he hidden the tickets? Inside five Wonka bars. you got to buy Wonka bars to find them. Class three dismissed. captured the attention of the entire world. Hidden among the countless billions of Wonka bars are five gold tickets. And to the five people who find them will come the most fabulous prize one could wish for, a lifetime supply of chocolate. And as if this were not enough, each winner, before he receives his prize, will be personally escorted... They're all the crazy. Shh, the man's a genius. He'll sell a million bars. The amount of chocolate Grandpa, do you think I've got a chance to find one? One, I'm counting on you. Sorry, we paused this. Yeah. We just want you to like and subscribe. That's all, okay? Yeah. So, if you want more edits, also comment. Give me them effort. Yeah. Yo, yo. That's my sister. Um, Run! So, um. I hate that girl. I hate Willy Wonka because he starts with a Willy Wonka. Well. That's Find all five. That's enough for me. Already we have reports coming in that the response is phenomenal. Wonka bars are beginning to disappear from candy store shelves at a rate to boggle the mind. Truly, it is incredible the way that Wonka mania has descended upon the globe. While the world searches, we watch and wait, wondering where the pursuit will lead and how long the spirit of man will hold up under the strain. I'm still having these dreams, Doctor, and I still can't stop myself from believing them. I've told you, Mr. Hostetter, to believe in one's dreams is a manifestation of insanity. And the sooner you accept this, the sooner you'll get well. But I dreamed the Archangel appeared and whispered into my ear and told me where to find a golden Wonka ticket. And what exactly did he say? Oh, what difference does that make? This was a dream, a fantasy. I mean, you said just Shut now... Shut up, Hofstetter, and tell me where the ticket is. We began with five golden tickets, like five lucky bolts of lightning, ready to strike without notice. <laughs> No one knew where, no one knew when the first one would hit. But as you all know, last night we got our answer. While we in America slept, the first golden ticket was found in the small town of Duselheim, Germany. We've been waiting several hours for the follow-up story, and we're finally ready with a live report. Proud we are for the attention of the entire world focuses today right here in Düsselheim, a community suddenly thrust into prominence by the unexpected discovery of the first Wonka golden ticket. It's lucky finder is the son of our most prominent pork butcher. The boy's name? Augustus Glue. Augustus Glue, the pride of Dusselheim, the fame of Western Germany, an example for the whole ah! world. Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket finder? Hungry. Any other feelings? Very sorry for Wonka. It's gonna cost him a fortune in fudge. Mr. Gloob, would you mind saying? Mrs. Gloob, would you care to say a few words to the television audience? <laughs> I just knew Augustus would find a golden ticket. Eating is his hobby, you know. We encourage him. He wouldn't do it unless he needed to nourish that, would he? Anyway, it's all right, Happy birthday, Charlie! Happy birthday! Here you are, Charlie. Thank you. Mr. 
terrific. We each knitted a bit. Grandma Georgina, Grandma Josephine, and me. I did the end pieces with the little tassels. And here's a little gift from Grandpa George and me. I think I know what this is. It is a Wonka. Open it, Charlie. Let's see that golden ticket. Wouldn't that be fantastic? It's not fair to raise his hopes. Never mind. Go on, open it, Charlie. I want to see that gold. Stop it, Dad. I've got the same chance as anybody else, haven't I? You got more, Charlie, because you wanted more. Go on, open it. Here goes. I got it! Where? 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 Let's yeah. see. Fooled you, didn't I? You thought I really had it. Never mind, Charlie. Criminal. You'll find one. Here. Everybody have a bite. No, no, no. You no, 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 no. I want you to be the first to find a golden ticket, Daddy. I know, Angel. We're doing the best we can. I've got every girl on the bleeding staff hunting for you. All right. Where is it? Why haven't they found it? Baruka, sweetheart. I'm not a magician. Give me time. I want it now. What's the matter with those twerps down there? For five days now, the entire flipping factory's been on the job. They haven't shelled a peanut in there since Monday. They've been shelling flaming chocolate bars from dawn to dusk. Make them work nights. Come along. Come along, you girls. Put a jerk in it or you'll be out in your ears, every one of you. And listen to this. The first girl that finds a golden ticket gets a one-pound bonus in her pay packet. What do you think of that? They're not even trying. They don't want to find it. They're jealous of me. Sweetheart, I can't push them no harder. 19,000 bars an hour they're shelling. 760,000 they've done so far. You promised, Daddy. You promised I'd have it the very first day. You're going to be very unpopular around here, Henry, if you don't deliver soon. It breaks my heart, Henrietta. I hate to see you unhappy. I won't talk to you ever again. You're a rotten, mean father. You'll never give me anything I want. And I won't go to school till I have it. Baruka, sweetheart, angel. Now, there are only four tickets left in the whole world, and the whole ruddy world's hunting for them. What can I do? 